Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eve and I just got finished a uh, meeting with a client who was picking up her wedding dress. Um, I did a wedding dress redesign for her and um, I took some pictures along the way and so I thought I would share them with you so you can kind of see the before, the during, and the after and how it all went down. So here it goes. So this is Jasmine, my bride, and Jasmine uh, just so happens to be marrying a T.I. lookalike. Honestly, I think if T.I. and Neo had a baby, they would be her husband. Um, but this isn't about her and uh, Neo T.O. <laughs> this is about her dress. So nevertheless, Jasmine um, picked out a beautiful wedding gown that she loved and she decided that she wanted to have a different bottom put on it. She wanted to have a large uh, tiered tool bottom put onto it, which looks like this. In my mind, the two of them together, if they had a baby, would look something like this. So we drew up the design and uh, drew up the contract and decided to go ahead and give it a whirl. Um, so the first thing I had to do was deconstruct her dress, which I'm super sad that I got rid of the pictures of that. I was clearing out my phone and I actually got rid of the pictures, so sorry about that. But anyway, so after I deconstructed the bottom of her dress and took it off, the next step was to go ahead and um, construct this huge tool bottom, which mind you, it took like 100 yards of tool to do. I did the first... 50 yards and only got this far and then had to go to the store and get another 50 yards. So after we got the tool bottom fully constructed, she came, she tried it on and come to find out because we're now in October and she started this process in January, um, her dress was a bit too snug and didn't fit so then we had to do some alterations so you can see here where I am taking the dress and um, cutting it open putting some slits in the sides I think we needed to add about two two and a half inches um, total so one and a quarter inches on each side and then you'll see here where I'm just adding the fabric in recovering it and seamlessly making the alteration. I'm really actually very excited about the way it turned out um, because it was my first time doing an alteration of that kind and also my first time doing a mermaid style tool bottom. Um, but I think it turned out pretty well. So here's what the dress looked like when I got finished with the alteration and when I got finished attaching the dress to the new tool bottom. Jasmine came and she tried on her dress and it fit perfectly. She's super excited and I can't wait to show photos on my Insta of her in her gown. Her wedding isn't until the end of October. As soon as she gets her wedding photos back and she sends them to me, I'm going to post some of the finished photos on the aria.fari.official Instagram page. So be sure to check those out for her finished photos. Congrats, Jasmine.